cardiac markers and most important cardiac marker is the troponin so number one investigation is cardiac markers cardiac marker so whenever there is a uh, infarction uh, these uh, proteins or enzyme uh, first they release into the cytoplasm and from the cytoplasm they enter the lymphatic when they are more released into the lymphatics so lymphatic drainage capacity it is less as compared with the inflow of these marker into the lymphatic and from the lymphatic they spill over into the veins or into the blood so they are detected so the most important uh, cardiac marker is the number one is troponin troponin it has three subunits Three subunits that is troponin C. As the name suggests, it binds with calcium. So each uh, part of troponin, each subunit of troponin, help in cardiac contractility. While troponin I. Troponin I, it binds with actin of myocyte and inhibits. Why the name is I? Because it inhibits actin myosin interaction. Therefore, the name I, while T, troponin T. Troponin T binds with tropomyosin. Hence the name T, troponin T. So uh, this, uh, these uh, troponins, uh, they are uh, first released from the myofilaments. These are the myofilaments. They first enter the cytoplasm. From the cytoplasm, they leak into the lymphatic and from lymphatic into the veins, into the veins. So, uh, there are two types of the uh, assays for troponin. One is a non high sensitivity troponin assays, and it is positive after three hours. Positive after three hours. So non-high sensitive troponin assay. While we have HS highly sensitive troponin test and they are positive in 1 to 3 hours. 1 to 3 hours. Uh, but highly sensitive troponin can be present in a healthy individual also. They are so sensitive that it can produce a false positive test also. So what will be the importance of HS troponin? Uh, if they are negative, they have a negative predictive value more. If they are negative, then MI diagnosis is unlikely. So uh, in that scenario, if patient has a severe chest pain and you want to rule out the MI very early, go for a HS troponin. If it is negative, means MI is not there. MI is not there. So they detect the MI within, if positive, within one to two, three hours. But disadvantage, HS troponin can be falsely positive, can be falsely positive. Now, uh, till how long they remain in the blood? So, troponin I, it lasts for 7 to 10 days. While troponin T, it lasts for 10 to 14 days after the uh, symptom after the symptom onset so uh, indeed uh, this uh, out of these two the best is troponin i this is the best why it is best because it is not affected by renal failure uh, 
uh, in renal failure troponin t can be elevated can be elevated due to decreased excretion the second uh, uh, marker is a uh, cpk and the fraction is cpk mb so nowadays cpk mb is only done when the troponin is not available when the troponin is not available and also uh, this will be somewhat useful in uh, reinfarction it is in reinfarction between 3 to 10 days reason cpk mb it rise within 6 hours 5 to 6 hours and it normalize in 3 days 3 days so if there is a reinfarction after the 3 days troponin int can be elevated but if there is a elevation of cpk mb that will detect that will detect now the other side why uh, cpk mb is uh, not a useful or a good marker for infarction because there can be other sites of cpk mb other sites remember of mb fraction it can be present in small intestine it can be present in tongue diaphragm uterus prostate of cpk mb why uh, just for uh, theory point of view uh, of the other markers other markers uh, though practically uh, uh, we are not doing those markers uh, that is known as the LDH flip. LDH flip. So, what exactly is the uh, LDH flip? LDH flip is basically the uh, isoforms of LDH. So, these isoforms of the LDH are when we take uh, LDH1 and divide it by. LDH1 is a cardiac fraction released from the heart muscles and this is non-cardiac. Non-cardiac. Uh, normally is less than 1. But if MI, there will be a flip. Flip means this ratio will become uh, more than 1. This ratio will become more than 1. Obviously, the cardiac source is there. Cardiac source is there. Why? The uh, so these are the uh, cardiac enzymes uh, which uh, we do the cardiac markers. Now there can be other uh, blood tests also uh, which uh, have some prognosis uh, significance. So number two, other biomarkers. other biomarkers in the uh, in uh, mi so these include crp c reactive protein c reactive protein is increased whenever there is an inflammation so mi is a type of inflammation crp will be elevated and from the ventricles ventricle stretching bnp will be increased so what does they imply if crp is high bnp is high they are associated with increased risk of heart failure and mortality and mortality while the uh, test other uh, uh, test that is uh, cbc So in uh, uh, CBC, uh, there will be a raised uh, uh, TLC. TLC will be high again, uh, inflammatory process. And uh, this TLC is high uh, within two hours. 
so fast it is elevated it is elevated and it normalize in one week even without the infection it can be elevated what is the uh, significance significance if, if elc is high more the count it is associated with poor prognosis while esr is high but it is slow to increase and it is fourth to fifth day of mi that uh, peak esr is increased and surprisingly this is not associated with poor prognosis so not associated with poor prognosis poor prognosis so these are the uh, imp uh, other important uh, uh, blood test with their significance now come to the uh, second uh, essential test for a case of uh, myocardial